Welcome to Revival Time Hub. The fire shall ever be burning upon the altar. It shall never go out. Word-based transformation. You are as spiritually minded as your submission to the word of God. You are as spiritually minded as your submission to the word of God. Write that down. You are as spiritually minded as your submission to the word of God. You are as spiritually minded as your submission to the word of God. And that from a child, thou hast known the Holy Scripture, which is able to make you wise unto salvation, and so on and so forth. And now, brethren, Acts 20, 32, I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among them which are sanctified, spiritually minded spiritually minded your first response to things is from the word of god your first response to life is from the word of god you have become a spiritual man you have submitted to the word of god it has influenced your thinking it is the basis for your decisions it is the basis for your argument it is the basis for your activity that everything in your life has been engineered to be word compliant the way you respond as the word of God demands. The way you give as the word of God demands. Are we together now? Your first response to life. Now look up please. When you become a spiritual man, you will not say things like, I have my church mind and then I have the other one. Or I will remove this church thing and beat you. You see that, that thing? And then I will come back again. You are not spiritual. Because spirituality has nothing to do with which day of the week sunday wednesday it has nothing to do with whether you are in church or you are in the office you have submitted to the word of god to gain supremacy over your thinking listen the bible says to be spiritually minded is a pathway that leads to life and leads to peace so how does a spiritual man behave when you are in trouble don't guess what does the word of God says. Call upon me in the day of trouble. That means a spiritual man, your first response, anytime things are unfavorable, is prayer. Are we together? It is foolish to take actions when you have not prayed. You will most likely act in the flesh. Oh, just to let you know that tomorrow you are going to lose your job. How does a spiritual man act? The Bible says to be wise as serpents and gentle as doves. You don't look at your superior to his face and say, God punish you. It will not be well with you. I reject that statement. No, 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 no. You are not acting in wisdom. If you submit to the word of God, he tells you, let every man be subject to higher powers. So even if you don't believe what they are saying, you block your heart from receiving that negative prophecy, but you don't insult them. You go back to your secret place and say, in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that I am the head and not the tail. You don't shout that on the face of your director. Even if it's me, I'll fire you. Spiritual men. There is wisdom in spirituality. Are we together? All of a sudden, you hear a report. Ah, it looks like something is forming or growing in your body that has a name you don't like. Hey, so it has finally come to me. No, no, no. I know this sounds funny, but let me tell you this. A spiritual man understands that you are a king and you are a priest and that your words carry power. You will not speak nonsense and then forgive yourself later on. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. The Bible says he keepeth his bones and none is missing. I decree and declare that cancer has no place in this body. I decree and declare that I live and not die. I live and not die. I live and not die. I speak life. I've been given the power to choose and I make use of my will. I choose life. Spiritual man. Spiritual man. Spiritual man. Most believers have not submitted to the transforming power of the Spirit. Are we together? You see, when it has to do with transformation, you don't choose the verses you like and believe them. 
you submit yourself to the whole counsel of God that gives you wisdom. The reason why many believers' transformation looks like foolishness is that they select a few parts that they like. Are we together? Then the parts they have not received now cancels out on the wisdom of what they have. When you want to be transformed, don't do selective transformation. Do wholesome transformation. Selective transformation means I like this truth. No matter how uncomfortable it is, if it is backed up by the integrity of God's word and will make for your profiting, you must embrace it. Who is learning? There are many, many believers whose transformation is selective. Is the reason why they are not able to manifest the Christ life and to manifest spirituality in power. Wholesome transformation. There is seed that scattereth and yet increaseth. There is seed that withholdeth more than is meat and tends to poverty. I obtain grace to obey scripture. No debates, no argument. In the name of Jesus, I obtain the giving grace and I receive understanding to know more about it so that my action will be based on conviction and understanding. A spiritual man. When men say there is a casting down, the Bible says for you, you will say that there is a lifting up. In the name of Jesus, I declare, I wake up this morning and I declare there is a lifting up. Even though things are not yet the way it should be, I still declare that I, there is a lifting up. Spiritual man. Who is learning? So you must be spiritually minded. There are things I do not believe can happen to me. Honestly. It is not pride. I don't believe it. For instance, that someone will take my name to a harbor list and it will actually work. Maybe you believe it, but me, I don't believe it. Unfortunately. No, it won't work. And it has nothing to do with being a man of God. Hallelujah. You've had, I, I first feel sorry for both the person and the harbor list. Honestly, I really feel sorry for the person. And the reason for feeling sorry is because of the kind of God that will answer them. Are we together? I believe as a person that no man can kill me before my time. I believe it. Now, it's, it's, it's left for you to choose what to believe. But this is what I believe. I believe that I will never struggle financially as I serve the purposes of God. No. Because he's placed too much in my life to be valuable and I understand the law of value. Are we together now? That rewards follow value. And if what I am giving is value indeed, then God's faithfulness will keep his law to be at work. This is what I believe. I believe that everybody cannot hate me. Why? Because everybody did not hate Jesus and everybody does not hate Satan. And so my focus is on those, the few that God can put together. One man who likes you can make the world of difference. And so in prayer, praying for a destiny helper, I need not worry about who doesn't like you. No, 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 no. The person ordained by God to like you enough to invest in your destiny is all you need to rise. Are we together? I believe there are arrows that fly by day, but I also believe that the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous can come into it and he is safe. Spiritually minded. Spiritually minded. That in famine I will laugh. I believe it. It's a mentality. I believe that God will keep adding every day and every week to koinonia as many as should be saved. Koinonia will never have a better yesterday. This is what I believe. Because the path of the just is as a shining light. Who believes what I'm teaching you? Honestly, this is what I believe. I believe there is no nation God sends me to that will reject me. No. I truly believe. Because there are witnesses who love God in that nation. And he told the apostle, he said, don't be afraid. I have many people there. There are 8.2 billion people on earth. There are enough people to honor the word of the Lord upon your life. The question is, what do you believe about yourself? To be spiritual 
means to be word compliant man shall not live by bread alone matthew chapter 4 and verse 4 but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of god when i study the bible i don't just study it for sermons i don't just study it to have messages for conferences i don't just study it for you i study it to believe i study because i believe and when i hear him speak to me i believe it you shall be exalted above every nation and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you i believe that i am the head joshua selman and not the tail i believe in the name of jesus christ that i shall lay hands on the sick and they will be healed i believe i believe that i am an able minister having obtained sufficiency of the spirit i believe that when i communicate i'm speaking beyond letters it is the ministry of the spirit that whilst you listen to me there is a spirit component a grace component beyond the layers of intelligence that rests upon you granting you capacity to both comprehend and engage the truths that i communicate this is what i believe it's called the ministry of the spirit whatsoever he doeth prospers not whatsoever he wants to do i believe it is whatsoever he is directed by the spirit of god to do and you are directed by the spirit and you prosper mysteriously but powerfully that even in a dry land where there is no water the spirit can be poured upon you from on high like rain and every wilderness can turn to a fruitful vine because you came there and the fruitful vine can become a forest based on that revelation there is no land that god sends me to that is hard there is no land that you cannot plow it is a product of your mentality apostle um is is because you are speaking from abuja that's why there are rich people there. You think so? It's one thing for a man to be rich. It's another thing for him to be directed by God to help you. If a rich man is not directed by God, one naira will not come from him to you. Are we together? Everybody who gives to you have relatives who are in need. It takes grace for them to give to you and to help you. Someone say, I believe the word say i live by the word one more time say it i believe the word say i live by the word one last time say i believe the word say i live by the word say it again i live by the word i live by the word i talk consistent with the word i act consistent with the word spiritual man spiritual man how are you good morning may god bless you how is the morning May God bless you. How is Nigeria now? Well, we bless God. Honestly, we thank God. Are you sure? We thank God. God is faithful. Is it that you are blind? You are not seeing what is happening. I give God praise. You don't just slap it on their face. Don't waste scripture. Discern who you are talking to. If they don't have the faculty of comprehension, just leave them the way they are. Don't start saying, well, me, while I look not at the things, that the person does not even know what you are saying. And he can be angry. And if he's stronger than you, he may even hurt you. Are we together? You hear a report that is not good. What do you do about it? Go to Genesis chapter 1. What did God do when he saw darkness? Did he explain away darkness? No! Let there be light. Let there be light. In the name of Jesus, I, I have a rent issued by the power of the Holy Ghost. Wisdom, wisdom. Where it was your carelessness, you take responsibility and cry for mercy. Lord, I cry for mercy for being careless and not planning. I've wasted the grace you made available for me. But in the name of Jesus, you told me I can come boldly. Boldly and obtain grace, mercy and grace to help in time of need. This is the time of need. The landlord is about to throw me away. I ask for mercy. Show the excellency of my advantage having you in my life. And God, for his name's sake, for his name's sake. I hope I'm not wasting your time. Listen, if you don't live like this, I assure you, you will fail in life. 
I speak over koinonia all the time. I'm raising a people vibrant spiritually, a people enlightened by the spirit, a people of influence, men and women of character, sustaining the intelligence to command results, dominion and power. This is my prayer for you when I pray. No, you are not maintaining membership. You are raising a mighty army, an army of people intelligent, an army of people influential, an army of people spiritual, warding off the arsenals of darkness over their families and over society. This is koinonia. So while I stay with God, what are the sermons, oh God, that will produce such a people? What are the teachings, oh God? What are the mindsets? What are the trainings that will produce such a people? Are you learning now? Be spiritual about your organization. Not fanatical, but spiritual. For goodness, you are, you are a director. Don't just sign papers alone. In the silence of your breath, you close the door. Wear your priestly regalia in the name that is above all names. I am an ambassador in this corporation and I hear that they are antagonizing people because I will not compromise by the power that raised Christ from the dead. The God that exempted Daniel. I decree and declare that this is my Babylon. I remain invincible, indomitable by the wisdom of the Spirit. And before you know it, the Pharaoh that is causing pain to others is the one who will lift you as his Joseph. Listen, honestly, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word, every word. Some people have laughed at what I'm teaching you to spite. Eventually their lives will become a, a, an episode of defeat. I don't take chances with my life. I have only one lifetime. We are only given one lifetime by grace and mercy. I wake up in the morning, Father, I thank you. Thank you. This is the day that the Lord has made. I decree and declare goodness and mercy follow me. In the name of Jesus Christ, my helpers are closer to me today than they were yesterday. In the name of Jesus, the discernment to see them and to know them are obtained by the wisdom of the Spirit. Grace is abundantly multiplied. I learned something new today by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ, my heart belongs to Jesus. The benefits of loving Jesus is demonstrated through my life. Thank you, Father, for koinonia, a vibrant people loving Jesus, going from glory to glory, from grace to grace. I pray for them. I pray for their families. Satan, take your hands off my people in the name of Jesus, including those who are not yet spiritually mature. They enjoy the covering of priesthood. Take your hands away from them. That's a spiritual man. You wake up and pray like that over your children. As my child goes to school, in the name of Jesus, he enjoys the ministry of angels. I decree and declare, I will not hear bad news that my child is kidnapped. I send you as a parent with the anointing of the spirit. He's intelligent while he's learning. You are a man of God. God sends you to a place. Don't just move around trying to say, I'm here or can you invite me? That's not how it is done. A spiritual man, you invest in the place of prayer, making declarations. I am spiritually minded. There are no impossibilities with me. I can fail alone, but me and the God of heaven cannot fail together. We are an unbeatable team, unbeatable team, unbeatable team, unbeatable team.